We're hunting the high countries of New Mexico on this week's Knockout Hunting Adventures for Trophy Bull Elk. I'm joined by good friend Steve Vonstro of Parker, Colorado. I'm back hunting with Art Martinez of Arcom Outfitters for the second year. So come along with me for some hard-hitting elk hunting action. Hickory Creek Archery, manufacturers of the draw lock and the DL-24 Compound Bow presents Knockout Hunting Adventure. From Sassier, Mississippi, Jerry Gaw! Gaw! Dynamite Albright to extend his unbeaten string to eight straight. The fight is slated for 10 rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Knockout Hunting Adventures with your host and four-time U.S. amateur heavyweight champion and former number one ranked amateur heavyweight of the world, Jerry Goff. This is Knockout Hunting Adventures, hosted by the man who battled Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, and Lennox Lewis, Jerry Goff. Join host Jerry Goff as he introduces children, women, and handicapped hunters to the sport of archery. Join Jerry as he travels the world on his exciting adventures and get ready for knockout hunting adventures. Wow. We got fine animals. Knockout Hunting Adventures is brought to you by Magic Stop Archery Targets, Golf Cars of Mississippi, The Hunter Safety System, Arctic Shield, Tailor Made Bowstrings, Archery Interactive's Techno Hunt. Bow Buddy Archery, Night Rifles, Savage Arms, and Hickory Creek's Draw Lock. Here at Arkham Outfitting and Guide, we offer mule deer hunts, elk hunts, turkey hunts, and also uh, fly fishing on the San Juan River. With our elk and mule deer hunts, we offer archery, muzzleloader, and rifle. And with our elk hunts, we also offer archery, muzzleloader, and rifle, and also cow elk hunts in December. Last year, I passed on the smaller bull at only 18 yards and saw several larger bulls that I would have loved to have taken. This, this is really a truly beautiful place here. This valley runs for miles from the alfalfa fields all the way up. It's unbelievable. And you're way to go. All the way to go up there, nothing but valleys and ridges on both sides mm -hmm. i'll tell you you just never know when they'll start but you said they've been they've been, they've been talking yeah some but, yeah but you know you just never know when they're going to kick up we were sitting on one spot and just sitting there for an hour and i said i gave a bugle and he answered about 100 yards below us yeah well we're going to take our time and he's on around this rim and up here and just hopefully catch one down the valley We'll catch some in the valley. A lot of sign in here. Yeah, a lot, lot of, of sign. A lot of fresh sign. Then you can see what they, maybe last night kicked up the dirt, just a little light dust. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see his way on around. Well, let's see if we can find it. Let's go. Okay. The elk come down out of the mountains every night to feed in the alfalfa fields. We're in a great position and we can hear the elk coming in our direction. But we're running out of daylight. Steve, we're going to go drop down in this canyon. There's a lot of elk in there. That's some real nice bulls, so we'll see what we can do this morning. We heard them talking down in here. And 
on the bottom. Yeah, we heard it talking now. This morning, so we're going to try to see if we can call one in for you. And this rain and stuff's going to help. I think so, yeah. Like. I think it's going to be everything real quiet. It's going to make okay. it look nice down here. Well, let's get down and see what we can find. Let's go. Okay. We're wasting time. Steve and Art covered a lot of ground that day and would stop ever so often and do some light calling just to get a response, but heard nothing. Things can turn around real quickly when you're hunting elk in mid-September. The herd won short little chuckle, which meant at least one of the bulls were interested, and it was on. Steve got set up in this deep ravine while Art moved down behind him about 75 yards and began calling. This is when a decoy really comes in handy. The bull hears a cow, which is art of course, but doesn't see anything and gets real suspicious. At this time, Art can't see anything and has no idea that the bull is only 50 yards away from Steve. see some of the bulls that we have in this lodge uh, six by sixes there's some larger in this area uh, we you know we know where they're at we scout them all the time we keep an eye on them and we do have some genetic bulls that we've killed in this area that are unique to this area and there's still some running out there if you can see you know this here is a, is a real unique bull he's got an odd side on one side and he's got an eight by and you can see the mass on this thing and this was killed in this area, and then we had another one killed in the same area that it's either the brother or maybe the father's son 
and this shows you the genetics in the area. And this one here is the same bull. You can see the basic figures of the bull. And this one here is a seven by seven. And this one had the genetics also. And there's still a couple more running out there in the forest that we've been keeping an eye on, but we haven't been able to get those. And myself personally, if I seen something like this, I would take him in a heartbeat because it's unique, different. But uh, genetics, you know, genetics play a big part in these elk, how, how, what kind of horns they have. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, last year when uh, Jerry came out with his draw lock bow, and you know that's a pretty good system. I like the way that that thing's set up. It makes it easy for a, a youth or a child or somebody that's injured to use it. And me and Cindy were talking about it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, she'd never hunted before in her life with a bow, and she thought, you know, I'd like to try that. You know, during the bow season is when you really see a lot of animals out there, and you hear them talking, and you get a close encounter with them. So, we got it out this spring, and she got out and shot it within, oh, well, I would say. 10 shots, she was already dead on at 20, and then we worked her up to 30 and 40, and her groups at 40 were just unbelievable for somebody that's never shot a bow, right? Yeah, it was the first time to shoot in that draw lock bow, and it was it was an awesome, awesome bow, so I We're pleased with it, really, really pleased. I encourage it. every woman out there that wants an archery hunt to, to get one. Mm -hmm. It's really, really neat. Easy to shoot and load, and I like it. I'm gonna shoot it now at 30 yards, it's an 85 pound pull. That's it. Bullseye. How about that? Cindy shooting, she hadn't shot the bull all her life. Look at that. She dead center on the bullseye. Uh, at 40 yards, she can group it within this black circle. Every shot. It's unbelievable. Just awesome. Okay, when you're ready. Dang. <laughs> Excellent shot, honey. Another within the bull shot range. Yeah. Great shot. On top of this mountain. Looking down. It's just unbelievably beautiful. The elk. Last night we were down there coming from the bottom up. The elk dumped over, didn't they? Yeah. Last night. So we came up here this morning. And they topped over. They're bedding between the bottom and the top end. They're real thick timber. And this is a beautiful, beautiful sight. Yeah, we don't want to spook them. We spook them, we're going to lose them. So. Yeah. Just wait till you see me. We'll come back out. Check out this tree right here. I wonder how this can tree can grow. Unbelievable. That tree, Art says that tree is a million years old. I'm gonna just go. It's like a, an elk bone. Neck bone. Probably a mountain lion. Where'd he go?
getting late afternoon and we make our way down to the bottom where it flattens out to a boggy area. Art says there are several wallows there and he would like to sit out the rest of the afternoon overlooking them. If you think the shot was too far back, notice the angle and direction of the arrow. Got him down. Down for the count. Knocked him out. <laughs> Good shot. Knockout hunting adventures. You know, for so long I've been strikeout hunting adventures. <laughs> I can't especially call you that especially no with you, huh, Art? I can't call you that no but more. But you know what? Folks, we've got a 300 class bull here. At least that's what my expert Art says. That is a, it's a six, six by six. Mm -hmm. Beautiful animal. Hey, it happened so quickly. Yeah, oh yeah. Don't take long. 30 before minutes before dark. Yeah. Or maybe 45 minutes before dark. He comes in. Never heard him. It was just amazing. I saw him first. I told Steve. Steve, here he comes, he comes a bull. And look back on her and said, here comes a big bull. 
And I'd tell you, take him when he was standing there because you don't know what was, the wind was coming. Well, way, actually. He is, all he had to do was walk a little bit and he'd have He'd have probably winded yeah. because that wind was swirling so bad. Mm -hmm. We Honestly, folks, we almost packed it in about an hour ago because we were getting a wind from that way, from this way, from every direction. It was swirling bad. But Art said, let's hang in here, sit here. There's one spot he could come from, and that's up top. And lo and behold, that's where he came from. If you're looking for an out of this world elk hunt, let's do it again. <laughs> and a mule deer hunt. Yes, sir. Art Martinez, Arkham Outfitting, will hook you up, folks. Will hook you up. And I can tell you, there's no guarantee that you're going to kill them because this is hunting. Like last year, we saw lots of elk. Lots of good elk, but couldn't get a shot. But persistency pays off. Well, that's part of hunting, isn't it? Hunting, hunting. Well, that's honey. part of hunting. This, this is my, my, my newest best friend right here, Art Martinez. Hey, folks, y'all take care. We'll see you next week for another, another exciting knockout hunting adventure. Take care. Awesome. If you'd like to contact me here at Knockout Hunting Adventures, go to www.kohunting.com and email me. Thank you for joining Hickory Creek Archery's Knockout Hunting Adventures with Jerry Golf. And make sure to join us next week for more exciting action. Until then, happy hunting. Knockout Hunting Adventures was brought to you by Magic Stop Archery Targets, Golf Cars of Mississippi, The Hunter Safety System, Arctic Shield, Tailor Made Bowstrings, Archery Interactive's Techno Hunt, Bow Buddy Archery, Night Rifles, Savage Arms, and Hickory Creek's draw lock.